Hey, what's up you guys? It's your girl Ashonda B and I am back with a new video. So in today's video, we will be reviewing some Benefit Cosmetics products. This kit contains the Professional Mini Primer. It also contains the Hulu Hula Benefits um, Bronzer, which is not my shade. Um, it just came in this kit and I don't think that they actually have dark shades in the kit that was given. So yeah, and then it came with this Bang Mascara, but I won't be using this mascara today. I will be using the Magnetic Mascara. First, we will begin started by applying the Professional Primer onto my entire face to make sure that our face is set for the beat that we are going to be doing today. And this is how the primer looks, you guys, kind of like a tinted primer. Um, and it was kind of gritty on the touch, but when you apply it, it's matte, but not too matte. It almost feels like I have nothing on my face, which I thought was going to be a problem at first because my skin is dry, um, but it wasn't. It felt kind of good, so I'm satisfied so far with it. I seem to get a white cast after applying, but that's totally fine. Once you add the foundation, you won't see it at all. Now, because I got scared because the primer felt a little bit matte matte, I am going in with my Pond's Dry um, Skin Moisturizing Cream and just add a little bit to give it a slight bit of moisture so my look won't be too dry on my skin and turn up very clumpy. Now I'm going in with the Brow Conditioning Primer, which comes in this very gorgeous mint green package. This is how it looks when you take it out of the package. And as you guys can see, I was literally trying to figure out how to work this. I thought that you just apply it, but that does nothing. You're gonna twist the little bottom part that comes on this until the primer pushes out of the brush that's on the tip there and you just apply it. Now, I really, really love this. I don't think it was that much conditioning, but I think it gave my eyebrows a grip, which helps it stay intact and, you know, solid after filling in my brows. So I absolutely still love it, even though I don't think it was that conditioning. So I went ahead and filled in my brows off camera because I use the same brow pencil all the time. And I'm just showing you guys just in case you haven't seen the pencil that I use. But now I'm going to go in with my Baby Yoda powder and use that dark brown shade there. And we're going to fill that in on the lid. After we fill in that dark brown shade, we're going to go in with a more neutral nude shade and put that right on the top to give it like a brown natural ombre there. Just to give you guys the shade names in case you do decide to buy this Yoda palette from ColourPop, that dark brown shade name is Droid Protocol, and then the nude shade name is Just Like a Tatooine. This is how those two shades is looking on my eyes, giving me very much natural. And we're gonna go back into that palette and use the color Force, which is the more golden color. We're gonna put that in the inner corner of our eyes as well as under the eyebrow area, just to give that face a little pop and glow. Thank you. 
Now I'm just trying to figure out if I want to use the hydrating foundation from Fenty Beauty or the matte. And I just went ahead and used the hydrating since I use a more matte like primer. Um, so that way I can just have a little bit more control um, over the dryness of the look that I'm going for today. Now I'm going in with my favorite concealer from e.l.f. Cosmetics. This is their Hydrating Camo Concealer. And I'm just going to go in and highlight certain areas of my face that need to be highlighted. After highlighting my face, I'm going to go in with Juvia's Place um, Foundation Stick in the shade Zambia just to contour my nose, forehead area, and near my chin area of my face. So once I'm done contouring, I'm going to go in with the Beauty Blender and just blend everything out seamlessly and make sure it looks very, very natural. So after I blend everything out, I like to go back in with my foundation brush and I do not add more foundation. I literally just use the little bit that's left over 
on the brush from applying it before and I just used that to blend out between the highlights and the um, contour of my face so it can look more natural and not like really really patchy. Now I'm going in with my CoverGirl Translucent Setting Powder and I'm going to go ahead and set my face. Now I really don't use a lot of powder usually, but today I feel like I have more shine than a normal. So I'm going to, you know, um, add a little extra powder to set my face. Now I'm going in with Fenty Beauty number no. three palette. I feel like my eyes were a little bit more um, golden greenish look and I just wanted to add a little bit of orange touch to that so it can match my skin tone a little better and it came out exactly how I wanted it. Now we're going in with the Hoola Toasted Bronzer from Benefit, which I also had besides the one that came in the kit. And this is the one that actually matches my shade and my face. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and bronze my face up, make it look natural and good, you guys. Now that we're done bronzing the face, we're going to go in with Fenty Beauty um, Highlight Duo to give the face a little bit extra glow. Not too much though, I like to take it lightweight. I feel like it looks more natural that way, but do as you please, you guys. Now it's time to blush and I'm going to use the Revolution Roxy blush palette that I have and use more of that burgundy pinkish color that you guys see me tapping and just apply that to my cheeks. I feel like that is so perfect with my eye look and my natural brown look that I have going today. Thank you. 
Okay, you guys, I have to tell you about this lip liner. So I decided to get a new lip liner from NYX. Um, some people may say NYX. And this is the Suede Lip Liner in the color Dark Brown, you guys. The touch on this on my lips feel absolutely amazing. I think this is my favorite new lip liner. And I'm just going to go rack up on more because it's so hard to find a dark brown lip liner. Like, this is just perfect. I highly recommend it. Now I'm going in with Anastasia's lip gloss. This came in a four pack. I think this was like their Christmas holiday pack. They do still sell them on their website for $14. Um, but I'm kind of sad because this is my favorite shade out of all. And I just don't feel the need to buy a whole new pack because I still have three other lippies out of that pack. So I'm just kind of bummed. I hope that they start to sell these separate. And if they do, let me know in the comments because I need to just go grab this color specifically. So you guys see that my lips are already looking so luscious, but I decided to add my Juice Beauty Lip Crayon, and this is like a nude crayon. I decided to add that to my lips to give it a little more natural ombre, and I nailed it. It's just like the perfect lip combo, and it's going to be my new favorite lip combo, you guys. It looks so juicy and plump. Now we're down to the product that I really wanted to try. This is Benefit Cosmetics New Magnetic Mascara. I've heard so many good things about this mascara from it making your lashes look a little longer and more volumized. So yeah, I just wanted to really, really try it out. I love the packaging as well. They definitely sold me on that. So first, when I start applying, the first thing I notice is that this is not very clumpy, which I like. I do like clumpy mascaras, though. I'm that girl because they are very, very volumizing. But this will still give you the volume without being very clumpy. So yes, I really, really like that. Um, and it looks very, very bold and very much there. It elongates my eyelashes. So I am very satisfied with this mascara. So this is how the eye with the mascara is looking versus the eye without. And I absolutely love it. Very volumizing, very elongated. It just looks really nice and good. But now I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Cosmetics Setting Mist and go ahead and set my face, y'all, because this face beat is done for the day. This is the finished look and I look absolutely gorgeous and natural face beats. Um, this is my first time using Benefit Cosmetics and I loved all of the products. The primer was my least favorite, but I still feel like it was beneficial. But thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And your girl is out. Peace out.